And the economic fallout continues to hit home here in northeast Indiana. A bank with local ties now has a new owner. News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon is live tonight with the latest on an acquisition. Matt. Well, the National City name still remains on this branch right here off West State Boulevard, but that will soon change. At the National City Regional Headquarters in downtown Fort Wayne, the fountains are still on. Signs still say National City, but that will soon change. Pennsylvania's PNC Bank is buying National City for more than $5 billion. News Channel 15 wanted to find out what that means for customers. So we went to see the regional president, but we're told to contact its Cleveland headquarters. Here's what they told us. All money in the bank is safe. PNC Bank will send out a welcome kit in the coming months. And there's virtually no overlap between PNC Bank and National City branches in Indiana, meaning no jobs should be lost locally and branches should largely remain unaffected. Customers had plenty to say about the news. Does it surprise you at all? No. Now, I've heard before that they were ripe for a buyout. Jesse Jenkins is a National City customer and a shareholder. Based on what I'm seeing here, they sold it at a discount. That uh, is not fair to the shareholder. National City recently posted a quarterly loss of more than $5 billion. Jenkins says he knew the company was in trouble but had high hopes. We were kind of hoping they'd uh, pull it out of the hole, but it uh, looks like they just gave up. Now, National City employs about 400 people here locally in Northeast Indiana. Now, since there is no overlap between those branches and PNC, there's not expected to be any branch closures or job losses at this time. Again, your money is safe inside National City Banks, and I am told that a welcome kit will be mailed out to customers in the coming months. Reporting live tonight, Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15.